Greetings and welcome to Factorio. I'm Digre, and today we continue our entry level to Megabase, where we are getting very, very close to uh, uh, 4K. I know I said that last uh, episode, but uh, as you can see, we are still running a bit on the buffered, uh, what's it called, space science. But since we are lacking utility science, that means that we are running with this buffered at around 4K. So uh, let's get on with building two or three more things we, and we need to get a very clear idea of where we are. So for this episode, I have three, maybe four things I want to get set up. I want to get some more advanced circuits, red circuits. I want to get some more low density structures. Might not be needed, but uh, we'll just buffer it if that is the case. And then we will um, get the rest of our space science made. Just laying down foundation for the last 10. Then we need to get to 4K science per minute. So um, let's start at the right point. This one needs only simple things and we should have more than enough in stock after we increased our oil last episode. So let's just add in one more of these that should be enough and then we don't have to ever worry about that again. To be honest, I actually think we do have enough now, but uh, rather safe than sorry. And it is very, very easy to set up. So now that we have our low density structures, pretty much needed for all of these that's running at a very high rate. Let's look at the next thing. That is pretty much our advanced circuits. And uh, just a few expansions of that should hopefully be enough. So let's do one, two, three. I we'll have to move that one and call that good. So let's see here. Might have to add in a few more, oh, not you. Adding for a few more green circuits and maybe even add in more smell-free columns. But uh, let's wait a second with that. In terms of blue signs, we are somewhat good, but I think adding one more will be, uh, be good just to get a lot of things queued up. Right now, the main thing that are holding us back is uh, our modules. Those are slowly getting made, but uh, not really at a rate I am happy with. So um, that is also one of the things we'll have to look at. So many, many things we'll have to get done, but nonetheless, very important things. You can go away and you can go away, you can go away. So that was our red. We have green with a bit of buffer up here. They are mostly getting used already all the way down. Now we still have a bit buffered, so that should be fine in terms of this. So let's look at the next part. Let's just mark that right here. Being our space science. Or before we actually do that, I might want to add in one more of this to have uh, more production going. Um, they're not really keeping up as is, so I kind of want to tear this one down. We never really used it for anything, so um, I don't think that's too bad. So let's remove you. And let's add in one more to make productivity modules, because if we look at our modules, that is pretty much the one that's lacking the most. So one more each would probably be a good idea. I could probably use or move this somewhere else just to have things in the same spot. Frames. So what if we just move this one? Don't think that would be an overly bad idea. That's not needed. So what if we move that maybe out of the base, all the way down to uh, the south? 
just cleared up a bit. Wow, a ton of things are going on. Uh, maybe just moving it over here to clear up the room in here. Yeah, let's do that just to make it look a bit better. So you can go to, let's get all the way over here for now, right here. So you'll be on new lubricant area. And this one will be turned into uh, productivity as I really, really want that to get solved. That also means that I'll want to do one thing since um, right now we're buffering about 2k. Buffering 4k might also be a good idea since uh, with the expansion we're doing at the moment. Yeah, let's, let's just keep it at 4k. What is the worst that can happen? Take you, place you down right here for another 4k. And let's take this one, place it down just below for another 4k of speed. Let's see here, speed to double our um, throughput of these two. That is uh, something I think we'll need quite a lot. That will, of course, pretty much drain our red, uh, red circuits. But uh, yeah, that'll mean we can expand faster in the future instead of having to uh, wait a long, long time before that is possible. Uh, all of this is pretty much done. You can just kind of go away. And could kind of beacon this as well. Maybe just do something like this to get down. So right here will be good, I think, to clear it out. Oh, it has no beacons in it. Uh, yeah, let's just go with this then. And right here to clear that out. And maybe one here to clear out some more. That will clear out some of this. So that is making sure all of this is working. All our barrels have luckily been produced. Uh, just for a little bit of uh, info on how many barrels we have at the moment. Look at this. We've produced 356,000 barrels. That is quite a bit. <laughs> at the peak we're going about 2.9k a minute and uh, yeah that was just to get our entire oil production down south uh, up and running so right now this is still lacking of course it will be because we now run double module production will probably mean that this will be taxed a bit as well but i don't really mind it they're all running at the moment. But that's just because these are buffering up. So that should be fine. So let's not worry too much about that. This is not being queued yet. Let's see, we're queuing right here. It's going to go to one of these very, very soon. Or the ones down here. But uh, hopefully we have enough green circuits being produced to handle this. At least we are making a ton of things around the base. So let's get this built before we expand out this because that will cost us two, three thousand modules to get all of this built. So uh, yeah, let's uh, be a bit on the safe side with that. Uh, we can't really clear this out yet. It's going as fast as it can, or could make go a bit faster, but let's just leave it. And let's do one. Or pretty much let's just mark out where we want them. So. One. Two. Can we fit in one over here? Ooh, it's not optimal. We probably could fit one in. So what if we take 
I don't know. We'll, we'll skip these these four for now. Let's say three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, we only need 10. What am I doing? I'm too far down. And to be honest, I also want too far out. We actually only need to go to right here. So if we skip these and move them up later, we should be able to fit it in. So let's see here, that one. Because we have the 10 we need right here. That means we just need four on the outside. So what if we just skip you? You can go away. That means that these four will move up to this as soon as it's emptied out. But that way we do have the 10 we need. And let's go down and give this some speed modules just to, uh, to speed it up a bit. Might want to add in, what's it called? Beacons to get it cleared out even faster. But uh, I don't know if that is good enough. How fast are these, these with beacons? They're moving at three and a half times the speed. Could add speed modules to this instead to increase it. So it might be something like that we should do to clear out this little patch to get it all lined up nicely right here. So let's just remove all the empty stuff down here. That is all done. Same with this. Let's do it from there, it's a bit easier. There we are, and all of you can go away. But it's quite insane this has been running since uh, we started a mega base and still hasn't cleared out. It's not like we've been uh, missing it at some point. It's just it's just a lot of uh, things to mine. Here's some power for you. Then we might want to remove these and give it some other place so we can mine this out. So what if we just add one not the most pretty but it should get the job done. Ugh, that's gonna be ugly. There we are. But then we can clear out all of it and place it down anew uh, a bit more correctly than we had before. So please take out all of this. Don't know if we need the radar here. Oh, we have one right next to it. So that should mean we could uh, set this up with some what's called beacons. Let's just use some of these so we know they are temporary. Here, that is good. Let's give it one more either way. That gives us complete coverage over this. What if we just take this blueprint for now to cover it all and just start it right here? Might have to remove, remove a few of them, but I don't mind doing that, to be honest, if it means we can get this sorted out. And you'll just have to move one over if it's you're even needed. Might not be the case. We will see in just a minute. Because I really want to get this done to get uh, this area fixed. It will look way, way better if we do that. So time to mine this out. 
here is a ton of speed for you. So that is going quite fast. Now we just need to put in some more in him. How much more is that going to give? They're going to go from 400 to 550. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's just get this thing completely cleared out. There we are. And then all we need to do is add in some speed. This should all be covered. Seems so. So let's do this. And let's see how fast we can get this mined out. Just waiting for a few speed modules. Hopefully we have them in storage. Let's just check our logistics. We have 1k in storage, so it's just about waiting a little while. But this should be on their way. Then hopefully this doesn't take that long to mine out. Oh, can't we add in one more over here? Why ain't you running? You should be. There we are. So everything's running. Just need the rest of our speed modules in. There we go. So now to get all this mined out. And get our uh, satellites or space science in. We can fill in six for now and just move the last four in uh, in a little bit. We'll need one more here just to help with the power. That might be a good idea. There we are. Power wise, no issues whatsoever. So now we just need things to buffer up a bit. Things are starting to lag as well. Seems copper will start to be an issue. So yeah, we'll have to do an, an, a huge expansion in terms of our uh, input. Because how far behind are we? What did copper peak at? Oh, that's a bit too high. We can produce 140, or one, sorry, 170. But we peaked at 210 at some point. Hopefully that's just because we're buffering things, but I'm not sure that is the case. So, uh, yeah, that will mean that we'll have to expand out making a copper cell. We could do one copper area over here. I think that could be a good way to get some of the production we need. Just putting down the bit of rubber port so we can see the entire area. There's a bit we'll have to mine out right here, though. Can we get in some beacon miners? What about... You can kind of go away. So we can get this lined up correctly. There we are. And all of you can go away. These can go away. Because that will make sure this get, gets mined out. As this one is. Uh, I'm debating if you stop. Uh, science production while we fix the base, but uh, let's just keep it running. There's no need to just stop things because it is uh, useful for us. So 
So let's go all the way up here. I could kind of done it all from there, couldn't I? That would have been a bit easier to do, but oh well. It's nice uh, taking ourselves for a stroll once in a while. Though it is quite a walk. Could make two more legs. Do I have crashing for it? Just missing a bit of steel. So let's just request that in. What does that mean? 102. Oh, wait, what? Ah, I have never seen that before. So we'll get 100. And after that, it moves the rest to trash. Huh. That is not, that's quite, that's quite good. That is actually a very, very cool idea. Go away, stupid trees. I want not see you at all. Probably do a huge perch of trees at some point. They're in the middle of my foundries. My furnaces, I don't really like that a lot. There we go. Just get you emptied out. Shouldn't take that long. How much junk do I have on me? That's insane. Uh, let's just take all of it out and get it incorrectly in the future. Oh yeah, a good thing. This is a lot bigger now than it was before, so we can fill in a lot more things. And now we can craft the two legs we want. Modules, 600, 1K. So we can actually expand out uh, our copper production. As that is holding back a lot right now. So what if you make a huge copper area right here? We can start by doing a bit. Let's see here. Copper. If we do, what is that? Oh, if we do 10, is that too much? Oh, sorry, 9. I guess we should probably do the same with iron, just be on the safe side. Nine of those. And then we should do some iron as well. We could do iron over here just to have it uh, split out a bit and have room for expansion. So what if we do, how much iron do we have over here? Not that much. We have most of our iron coming from this side, but we are a bit out of room. So let's just make, what if we make a, a three by three right here of iron? Maybe right here. Yeah, let's, let's try that. We can always move it in the future because right now it's just the modules. As soon as they are produced, it doesn't really matter anymore. And we can just pick it up, move it somewhere else and make the base look a bit nicer. I think that would be good. But this is pretty much what making a mega base is in, uh, in terms of a robot one. <laughs> we'll start to do from doing just one to doing whole cells to doing three by three cells to make it even bigger. But uh, yeah, it's gonna be a huge mess in a minute when I start to place all of this down. Uh, green circuits is probably just lacking the iron. That's just holding that back. Oh, sorry, the copper. And as soon as that is produced, we should be good. The same with low density structures. Also, the iron. If nine is enough, we'll find out in the future. But right now, let's uh, let's try and go with that. So, time to expand this nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine copper. I'll do that first, then we'll do our nine, what's it called, iron. And then we'll do our space. But I kind of want this one to be emptied out. That should be emptied out before we start next episode, hopefully. So let's just put down the iron as well. How's the iron production looking? It's always good to check. Iron. It's producing more than we need. But still only one point a hundred and almost 200k a minute. And uh, that is not really enough. We'll need about 300k or something like that from my calculations to, uh, to keep it running. So adding in nine more, hopefully that will give it. Did we ever measure how much these produce in total? Not really, but... Uh, I think it will be good to do all of them working at the moment. Now we have some idling down here. So nine might be... Let's wait a minute on this to see if it's even needed. There's no need to strain the system more than necessary. And then there is this. How is our modules looking? Whoops. Those are probably gonna go into a bit of an issue very soon. Now they are actually looking somewhat good. A lot better than I thought they would. So what if we just place down six? Yeah, just, wow. <laughs> yeah, let's just place six. It looks insane when that happens. That's just all of them going to collect the ore at the moment. Wow, look at that. That looks brilliant, that wave motion. I love it when that happens. How many robots are in this one? It's like all of them are stuck right here. <laughs> How it looks like once in a while. But yeah, all of them are out working now. Damn, it's like wave, waves of uh, robots. It looks bloody brilliant. So uh, let's uh, line up a few more of these, get them built, and then we'll see next episode what uh, what's, lack, what's lacking. So... One, two, three, four, five. Well, let's get these two away. Four, five, six. So that means these are full. This will have to be uh, the last four in a future episode because, yeah, I don't like building over ore. That is uh, not something I do. So hopefully we can uh, get this mined out. Holy moly, guys. Look. <laughs> Look at that. That is insane. We most definitely need to do something about these robots. Just look at them go. <laughs> oh, it makes me giddy looking at that many robots just uh, trying to charge right here. But then again, that is why we did so many ports here in the middle. Though I don't think they expected to have uh, 96,000 flying at the same time. But that's something I have to worry about and something we will... Uh, will sort out in between episodes. So I'll end the episode here. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you'll tune back to see uh, what goes on with this massive thing and how things will turn out. And uh, yeah, then I will see you in the next episode. Uh, bye guys, and remember to subscribe. See ya.